that's why we are here. That's fine. Yes, so we are here demonstrating against the brutality, atrocities and the murder of Ugandans by Ugandan government. So can I just FaceTime you live? Can I just FaceTime it? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Feel free to do so. Yes. Okay. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. No, I'm I can from... understand where you're coming from. Sorry? Let me just put uh, People power! People power! Right, we are gathering here and we've got uh, people who want to know what's happening in Uganda. So, um, the lady is asking us what is happening in Uganda and why are we here? Okay. We are here because Ugandan government has been killing Ugandans. They have knocked down people power supporter, a lady, a comrade called Rita, who was buried last week. They have also shot and killed a young opposition member in Uganda of people power. They continue to arrest Bobby White. They continue to arrest all the people power supporters. And we are concerned. And the killing is not only arresting them, killing them. It's good. One minute. So we are here because we want to raise awareness about the international community not saying anything about the killings of Ugandans. And we want Ugandans in the UK, we want the international community to be able to pay attention and stop Museveni from killing innocent Ugandans. The killing is too much, the arrest is too much, and we call on everyone to take action and that the people who are killing Ugandans should be held accountable for the murders. That's why we are demonstrating on a Saturday afternoon in front of the Uganda House. And everyone in here a is wet, concerned. cold London. So, Patricia? Power! 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 Um, <laughs> Today, this is, there is a new development in Uganda, ladies and gentlemen. People Power members, take this and write your MPs. Their rates are too much. Now, since last week, young boys are being, young men and women are being arrested, taken to police stations, tortured there. The following day, when people go there to, to ask for their release, to ask for bail, police bond, what they do, then these ones also who go there to ask them to be released are also, like narratives, are also put inside. So basically there is no way you can fight Museven, you can, the law is completely broken down, it's collapsed. So, but we still, we still, we request you to be peaceful, to be calm, and use peaceful means. We are not going to be violent as violent as he is. Let him have blood on his hands. He's not going to kill all of us. We will survive, and we are going to we resolve, and we'll continue, and we'll continue, we'll continue, and Museveni will go. Please continue and be firm. Today is a testing time for everybody. Do not neglect this. Continue uh, writing to human rights. Continue demanding for peace in Uganda. Thank you. People power. Our power. People power. Our power. Our power. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. It has been such a, a, a very bad day. The weather is terrible. It's raining. It's freezing cold. But people have managed to turn up in big numbers. Please, I urge each and everybody that Ugandans in the diaspora, in the diaspora, please, it is our ultimate responsibility to outfit seven because we have the means, we have the time and we have the social media and we have at least we can facilitate if everybody puts it into their own hands and says that i'm going to at least raise 30 people to be people power to be part of the struggle 30 people it is going to be a very good thing you can just run from your village run from your parishes run from your mosque 
where you pray from, wherever you go. If you have 30 people on your hands, 30 people on your speed dial, it is a very, very good thing. It is a good strategy. It works. If you go back to where you come from, if you come from Masakana, it's me, and you have 30 people, these 30 people, teach them to get another 30 people. It is a good strategy, and we can do it. Number one, we can facilitate it. So that means we can do it. You have no excuse. You have no excuse. Guys, this is our response. We have built houses in Uganda. We have done businesses in Uganda. We want to retire in Uganda. We are not going to go into nursing homes. This is why we are fighting. Because this is not where we want to die. Come and to these people. You want to know. People power is a, it's a, it's a, a, it's a group of people. It's a movement. It's a movement. It's a movement. Uganda, the president of Uganda has been here. He killed people. Okay, that's where you. He has no responsibility. He has stolen Uganda clean. He has stolen everything. There's a lot of nepotism. People don't get jobs according to their status. No, they get a job because they're friends with the person, or they're relatives, or they're of the same tribe. So this is why people power. It's a movement. We are a pressure group. A group of people who are activists who are saying that enough is enough. We wear red and red berets. That is what identify us. And a person that we want to be the president of Uganda called Robert Chagulani is a is an MP, and we want to outseat the president because he's been ruling for 35 years, and now he wants to rule Uganda. Is not a democracy in Uganda? There is no Uganda. It's a dictator. So this is why we're saying that enough is enough. And we want to outfit him by fire, by force. And we're going to do it. Very good. Yes. Well, good luck. Okay. If we can do Brexit, you. you can do that. Yeah, yeah, People power. power. People power. People power. People power. Yes. Yeah, boss. <laughs> you want to say something? It's a live stream. Wow. It's Yes, how are you? Not too bad. Yeah. Thank you for coming. No, you're great. Yeah. I didn't expect Because yeah. I thought the rain is going to be very strong. Yeah. But you gave us a chance. Yeah, yeah. Yes. People, yeah. Uh, people, people, to call your book. Hey. spirit, to call your book. Where are you? Yeah, it's going live. Where is Berlin then? Where is Berlin? Then? Where is Berlin then? Huh? I know it's great. Savolozi, where is that? Ne order, Jebabu, take him.